Hey friends, this is Tammy from Tammy Colors 2. Here we are with part five of my coloring book collection. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, I had to look and see what part I was on. So, so we will try to do, oh, and I decided um, that I needed to have an animal for every part we were on. <laughs> so I've got Spock Bear and I've got, I need a name for you, Kitty. And, and this is actually a stuffed greyhound. My goodness, I have had this one forever in a day. Probably since the late 90s. <laughs> and then this is a llama that my has, husband was hiding in the basement of his house in Michigan. And I'm like, it's so cute. I have to take it home. So there we go. And what can we add today? Oh, here's another. Here's a dragon. Look. <laughs> oh, it's been a day. Can you tell? <laughs> oh, anyway, so me and my little friends are going, you'll probably like this one. This one will be shelf nine, which is all my Christmas books and shelf 10, which is Halloween. Obviously they're not in order, you know, otherwise Halloween would be before Christmas, but I should have thought about that. <laughs> Let me put my friends away. Let's see what I'm gonna come up with. I do have more, I have. I might have enough. Oh yeah, I do. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I am losing all my brain cells today. <laughs> so Christmas, uh, this one is a very small book. Uh, do I have anything I can compare it to? Um, I have a sheet of paper, look at this. It's a sheet of paper I was using. So this one is obviously a small book. Merry Christmas, or we wish you a Merry Christmas. 55 removable coloring plates. So this is um, just simple, very detailed images. <laughs> I don't, oh, I got this at Ollie's, but I've seen it. Um, who publishes this? Obviously I started, this is watercolored. I was playing around with watercolor. Um, and I'm not sure about the detailed art, but I do want to try it. You know, it's got some really cool images in it. So I like the, the small books to try. There's that. Gotta go quick or we won't make it through. So let's see, where is this the other one I have? I try to keep all of my books together. Here we go. Alexandra Dannenman has three Christmas books I have volume one, two, and three. She has Merry Christmas, volume one. Now she, volumes one and two both come in a white and a black background. The newest one, volume three, does not, as I know of at this point in time, it just came out last Christmas, I think. And um, I think, we'll talk about that one in a minute. And it's, when I bought it, it didn't come out in a black background. But um, these are cute little books. Did I color anything else? I did this one. Look at that. Actually finished a picture. They're simple images. I thought it was neat to have a Christmas book that had black backgrounds in it at the time. Um, I don't know if it says what year this one came out. No. Volume 2 was a new release. So let's see. There's that one. I'm trying to figure out where to stack my books. Uh, Merry Christmas Volume 2. I have the white background version in Volume 2. Her art is just adorable. I love it. And then, so this one comes in a black background as well. As you can see. Oh, but she, she sometimes advertises. She advertises her books. So you can see, like, which ones come in a black background version. She has magical mandalas in a black background also. And then Merry Christmas Volume 3. These are Amazon printed books. I don't know why Volume 2 is a different size, but I like it nonetheless. I just, so this one was, yeah, oh, this one came out in 2021. So yes, this is 2022. I don't even know what year it is. <laughs> oh, keep it together. And this one, I don't know if I have a favorite. They are all just very cute and very pretty. 
to the gnomes and the snow globe. There you go. All right, moving along, I have, so yes, I should mention that unlike all my other shelves, Christmas and Halloween will have everything. It will have color by number, spots, lines, and di line spots, dirals, <laughs> you know, all that fun stuff. <laughs> Spirals, lines, dots, there I said it. Um, so that's why you'll see color by numbers in here. I have ceramic tiles, color by number. Christmas by Sash and Sash Diva. I have a million Christmas cats by John Bigwood. It's, this is just amazing. I always want to ask the question why it looks like a Lulu Mayo book. But it's so cute. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Ay, ay, ay. Uh, Christmas dinosaur, because, well, Christmas dinosaurs, hello. If you love dinosaurs, um, you gotta have this book for Christmas, right? It's so adorable. Easy to color, too. What is this one by? Um, does it say? I should tell you that, at least. It's, oh, Little Beaver's Press. Then I have, I don't, I only have one page of this one printed out. I have the Christmas Fun PDF by um, Deborah Muller. This one was obviously supposed to be a scavenger hunt, so I'm sorry I don't have that to flip through. I have the Picture at Christmas, Paul Cox's Christmas, which is another panorama um, of all Christmas images, and it is very beautiful. I can pull it out. Um, this year, I've got to try to get to at least part of this. I have a season of, I don't know if I can unwind it, Love by Deborah Muller. I have the PDF version. She had a sale, and I just decided to buy some. But uh, yeah, those are, that one is so cute. the ones I was supposed to color in and then didn't last Christmas. Uh, I have another PDF. I have Magical Christmas by Deborah Muller. Which is so cute. It's got cards in it and gift tags and really fun stuff. So this is amazing. I guess that's the nice thing about having the PDF version is you could print the gift tags off and color them and the cards as many times as you want. At least I hope those were part of the book and not part of a free or a PDF I bought that just mixed them in, but I think they were. <laughs> I have Coloring Heaven's Cutesy Christmas Special. And I distinctly remember, I can't remember when, oh, it was, uh, I think it was Christmas of 2020 this came out. And, um, oh, not that I have my reading glasses on. I can't remember if these have a date. Oh, I can't see. Anyway, um, it has Mariel Budak, Jen Katz, Hannah Lynn, Ruth Sanderson, Rosary Sawana Mama and Laringalas art, um, which Mary Mary Olabudek, yes, Hannah Lynn, um, Rosary Ros, Sawana Mama. Um, but anyway, Pebbles Adult Coloring was doing, she was coloring every day the advent calendar up until Christmas, and I ordered it to do that, and I got this like on the 15th of December. <laughs> So I never got to do that, but it's got, a, you know, all of, all artists that I like in here. This is a great one to have. I spent way too much time on that. Stained Glass Christmas by Satch and Satch Diva, color by number. I don't think I've colored anything in here. Circulism art books. Christmas. Christmas Owls. This is Christmas Owls. It is a beautiful book. I did color one, the first one. Very pretty. That's the it's a premium paper edition. Christmas coloring book for, adult, for adults by Dina Stone. Yes. 
Athena stone that has some really cute books. Look at the gnomes. The gnomes are so cute. And yes, as I forgot to say again, if you see something that you can't find a flip through of and you would like to see, please let me know. I would be happy. Uh, Mystical Lands Christmas, book three by Karen E. Myers. I have this one and I have a fall one and those are the only two of these that I have. Not that I don't like them, but I really need to color in these first. <laughs> They're cute. <laughs> these are really fun. <laughs> really, really fun. Uh, Christmas Delights Cross Stitch Style by Alice Mills Publishing, which is the cross stitch method. I'm sure if anybody hasn't seen it, and I definitely can't see them without my reading glasses on, but there are little tiny numbers in there, and they're really fun to do. Um, it's not as hard as you think, unless you, you know, really do have problems. I just have problems with my eyes because I wear contacts and my eyes are getting older and I can't focus on small print anymore without reading glasses. So, that's fun. Um, this is Cozy Christmas by Jessica Mazurkowitz, which, another Creative Haven book, fabulous, beautiful. Did this one just come out last year? Yeah, 2021. So this is a fairly new one. I have Christmas Cats, Creative Haven, Marjorie Sarnat. Someday I will color a picture in here. Marjorie Sarnat is one of those that I am terrified to color her pictures. <laughs> Country Christmas by Teresa Goodrich, Creative Haven. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Lots of fun pictures. Christmas charm. All of these are new. Like, I just got them last Christmas. Um, this one's Teresa Goodrich as well. She was just cranking out the books last year. Ugh, a Volkswagen. I sort of have a 71 Super Beetle. There's, it's a long story. It's at my parents' house. Uh... Enchanted Christmas coloring book. That was my door because it's shut and it doesn't latch very well. Um, Carissa Goodrich, Enchanted Christmas coloring book. That threw me off, didn't it? This one just came out as well and it is adorable. I think I was supposed to color something in there or something and didn't do it. Uh, Susanna and Ocean. Merry Christmas Designs, another Creative Haven book. This one is so much fun because it's all the Christmas things and it tells you about them if you haven't seen this. Well, mostly. Uh, they tell you Frosty the Snowman is the story of a snowman, you know. So I did, I started this one, Ring Christmas Barrows, Mer Merrily Ring. <laughs> I started, I did this one, I finished this one. It's the Bubble Lights. Sorry, my door. Um, anyway, I did it with alcohol marker, pencil, and glaze. Glaze pen. Oh, and I started this one, and I did all of the white parts in glaze pen. I have to finish the roof and the gumdrops and the inside the windows. I was I started. Now I'm never going to remember what pencil that was. It was really cool. I was doing a good job. I just have to figure out what color to make the roof and the gumdrops and the graham crackers hmm. I don't know I have to decide what that is uh, creative Christmas coloring book by Marjorie Sarnat oh, so beautiful oh I have Christmas color by number George Tufexis this is like I think the first George Tufexis I ever had and I started doing this one because this was literally the first George Sheet Effects I ever colored. And I was testing out markers. And I didn't like it, but now I'm not sure why, because I like it. But whatever. And then I was doing one. I'll tell you, it doesn't have any finished ones in it. I was doing this for a scavenger hunt. I didn't get it finished. Um, that one I was trying pencil. Eh. 
and love it, but I would do it different now. And then this one is one that I started and didn't finish. I was actually doing it in marker and pencil. Mixed media a different way. <laughs> Happy Holidays, Zen Master Coloring Book, um, illustrated by Orlando Oliveros. So this is a color by number and it is really pretty. Um, I've done a few in here. The, the, and, and the Zen Masters like this one are really neat because they have shading. See how they had me color it so it looks like it's shaded, but there's no lines. You'll just see a number and you'll, it's kind of weird at first, but it's really, it comes out really cool. Did I do another one? Nope, that's it. All right, Christmas Fantasy, color by number, color Questopia. I know that I have not done anything in here. This is obviously the black background version. Oh yeah, I did one. Look at that. Surprised myself. Uh, Christmas and Travel Mosaics by Belva Family. This is a color by number. Um, and it is cool. I think I did one. Did the very first one, which I think my marker ran out and I had to do, I still have to do the sky because I didn't have the right color or something. I don't remember what it was, but that's the only thing I have left to do there. But uh, yes, I would love to have that as a present. Then I have Christmas Color by Number, Color Quest, Color, <laughs> Color by Number Quest, Christmas. I cannot talk today. They have squares and triangles and octagons, um, all kinds of stuff. Did I do one? I think I did one. And I did it badly because I did it in um, water-based marker, but it didn't come out too bad. That one's by Kira Shershneva color relaxation. Um, this one is Christmas color by number by Satch and Satch Diva. Had this one for a couple of years. I did that one. I did that one. Turn on. Nope. That's it. Uh, Christmas to color. Um, this one I saw on like coloring with Vicky uh, years ago and she was doing some beautiful work and she recommended it and I got it and I actually started a picture doing it with those colors but I never got back to it so I didn't I don't think I did hardly any Christmas coloring last year circulism arts books color by number yuletide I don't think I colored anything in here did I oh. Have mosaic Christmas color by number dots version. Um, so this is kind of dots. Can't really. I haven't colored anything in here, but this one's by um, Jennifer Rowling, um, Bright Ideas Paper Publishing, which I'm a big fan of. I have mosaic art Christmas color by number. I haven't done anything in here. You can't really see the pictures too well. I have Paper Cut Art Christmas Color by Number by Satch and Satch Diva, which is a very, very cute Christmassy book. I did one. I did a couple, I think. I did this one. And I did that one. I'm literally not even looking at my camera. Um, Country Christmas by Ava Brown. I got this one late in the season, last season. Oh, there's double images, so. This one is pretty. I have Christmas Coloring Book by Design Originals. T T Thania McCardle is the artist, I believe. And these are really simple, and as like all my Design Originals, they have ideas in the front, what to do, color palettes, find that very cool. That one I did just pick up last Christmas as well. That's an older one. Um, Easy Christmas Coloring Book by Jade Summer. 
use our really simple kind of grayscale. This one, look at that. That was a scavenger hunt. I think it was lights. It came out so cute. Demita Victoria, Jolly Winter. This one is very, very cute. Ugh, I love that. <laughs> uh, we'll see if I have an avalanche. I don't know. I have Christmas Tatiana Bogema Stolova, which is a bunch of Christmas images that she did. That's so cute. It's a lot of fun. Then, let's see, I have Der Advents Calendar by um, Ursula Schwab. And this one I got last year to do, and you're supposed to do it every day before Christmas. Um, but you, um, you don't open them. Like this one I opened and I didn't get it done because this one you had to color the candle. But not everything is coloring. Like this one you had to build, like you had to color these stars and put them together, like make Christmas ornaments. And they're all sealed. So you don't know like what's inside. But it was a lot of work to do before Christmas, so I didn't uh, get it done. Let's see, Advent Calendar, Easy Christmas Coloring, Sally Berry. This is last year's, and I, I did well. I got up to day six <laughs> before I gave up. <laughs> oh, I didn't do four. I was trying to catch up, and then I figured I would go back and do that one, and I never did. But um, that was cool. Yeah, this is volume two. They put it in there, but they don't put it on the outside. I have a cute Christmas coloring book by Jade Summer, which is also very cute and adorable. I have 50 Christmas mandalas, and it was so funny, like, I started this one and it was for a scavenger hunt. I think it had to be a nutcracker or something. And I got this book in the non-color by number version because I'm not always happy with the fact that he uses all the colors and I don't always like it. And I thought for Christmas, I should just get the color or I should get the other one so I can do it in my own colors. And then I see people color it the way he does he did and I like it and I wish I had gotten the color by number version so <laughs> can't win um nice little town Christmas 2 which is adorable I love the, I love the nice little towns I don't have very many I have like I said the one that's number four I have and I have the Christmas and I have Halloween because I'll never get all those colored, I'll never get all these colored Christmas mandalas by Camellia Angel Kova. I was really, it was, I had a mojo when I did this one. Like I was really doing well, glitter gel pen, and I lost my mojo and I'm not sure why. Gnome for the Holidays by Deborah Muller. This one is adorable. And I'm sad that I haven't colored anything in it. I'm getting faster at coloring. Merry Christmas Black Background Color by Number by Color Questopia. There may just be a point where I get rid of all my Color Questopia books. I don't know. I'm trying to make that decision. Um, color by Number Christmas Mosaic by Sun Life Drawing. Um, this is a black background version, and I did this one. Oh, there was another one. No, it's in a different book. But that's, these come out so beautiful. I use Tombow markers to color in my Sun Life drawing, and it's beautiful. Lines, Spots, Dots, Christmas. This is another Kira Shrishnira. So, did I do, I started doing this one in different colors, and I, my thing ran through from the other one, from the puppy, um, which didn't come out so well, but 
Okay, that's all the Christmas books. Now we're gonna go get the Halloween and try to mow through those. I'll be right back. This shelf is shelf 10 Halloween. I'll take a drink of my tea, which is a white tea that my husband made, so I don't know which one it is. Um, all right, Halloween, Dots and Halloween by Laura Wokel, which we saw in another um, video, but uh, I moved shell it moved shelves, so it is what it is. Coloring Heaven, Creatures of the Night. <laughs> so if uh, um, Shayna in Colorland ever watches this, she'll laugh. Oh, here you get to see, I'm almost done with this. She and I have this as a buddy color, and I'm almost done with it. I'm working on the bat, and um, it's, it's coming out so cute. I'm very proud of this picture. So there's a sneak preview, um, but that's the only one I've done. This is a beautiful book. Then I have Frightling's Halloween, which is by Tabitha Thorpe. And this is really the only coloring pages that she's done that I know of. So this was a great book to have. It is just adorable. I love it. And I had plans, like I had this one, I was going to color this one. And then a chicken. I have Bram Stoker's Dracula, a coloring classic. So I had a plan, and I still have a plan for this book. I got this at Ollie's because this one, it doesn't really have art that's my speed. But I thought it would be cool, and I'm just going to try to ink tense it or watercolor it. And I started, like, I did this one. It's almost done. I gotta go decide what I'm doing with all of these. Technically, it's art, so I could leave it this way. <laughs> I need to find, like, a smoky green to put there so it looks like it's green with the smoke. And I need to make more smoke trails, I think. But that's almost done. And I need to treat the pages from now on. But this is a really cool book. Um, Hannah Lynn. What is this one? I may not have... I need to go back and print out the um, cover page because it must be Halloween. I mean, of course it's Halloween, but you know what I mean. I can't remember what it's called, but I'm sure y'all do. <laughs> That's all. Whimsy Girls Halloween or something like that. Does it say in here? No. My bad. Oh, Enchanted Halloween, a Whimsy Girls fantasy coloring book. There we go. You all knew. I do need to print that out though. Then I have another PDF. What is this? An oh yes, this was a gift from Ever of the Humanity. And uh, I actually colored a page, I think. Or I was going to, or I did. It's a, this is from Dragons and Beasties. It's a pack that you can buy and it's upside down. It's the trick or treat pack. I know I did one of these. Huh, I'll have to find it. Must be stuck somewhere. But um, I love her dragons. It's just a small booster pack that you can buy and it is so cute. So thank you again, Ever. I have Glendent Books, tiny little horrors coloring book. I love this one. It is fabulous. Ugh. I did this. It came out really good. I'm so proud of myself. He's so cute. Uh, I have Nightmare by Jade Summer. And this is the grayscale. I love Jade Summer's grayscale. Have I colored any of it? Well, there is one that you'll see in an upcoming video that I started and then I chickened out. So this is cool. And the reason I got this, because I don't like coloring. I love horror. I do not necessarily like coloring horror, although this one isn't that bad. Um, I have a love affair with the Headless Horseman and he is in here somewhere, and I wanted any coloring page of the Headless Horseman. I love the Headless Horseman. Um, Matchstick Mouse Halloween coloring book. So
so adorable, so cute. I got cute monsters. I think I've actually done quite a bit in here. This book is so cute. Quite a bit, maybe one or two. Um, I know this one. And this was a buddy color. Oh, I need to take the tab out. With um, Kathy from Spicy Cat Colors. Look, it's so pretty. I was proud of that. I had a mojo. Oh, and then, it, and then we did this one also. It came out so cute. And then this one I did on my own. This was the first page of the book, I believe. Yep. So that one I did on my own. How did I do his eyes? Huh. I don't remember what I used. That his eyes came out that cool looking. <laughs> it had to have been a paint marker or something. I don't have my glasses on, so I can't tell. Anyway, that is a cute monsters by Coloring Book Cafe. It's a very cute book. Um, colors and Sweetness Halloween. I gotta keep moving or we'll never get through these. And it'll take forever for my video to upload. This is adorable. Little Witches, Deborah Muller. I have more Deborah Muller books than I ever thought. <laughs> Very cute. I have Halloween by... Elena Lazariva, right? Yes. This is the one that um, I have tried to color in. And then um, I was doing it with Emma Colors 2020. And she and I both said the same thing. We were like, this isn't working. Like, neither one of us could get it to work for us. And I just... Hmm, I think all of my Alina Lazareva books are going to go. Is this the one I started? I did one. I have another one that I started a picture in. This one I just got last Halloween. Cat's Halloween Vintage Postcard Style Coloring Book. I know there's a flip through of this. There are double pages. But um, these were just so cute. Every picture in this book is fun and adorable. If you like cats. Um, and it just says artwork by Alexandra. I mean, you can find it on uh, Amazon. And it's Amazon printed. And I um, I did flip throughs of these. So they are out there. And this one is vintage style postcards again. But this is just Halloween night. So it has some interesting pictures. Kind of spooky pictures. Spooky, spooky, spooky. Um, Square Halloween by Belba Family. This was the first square book I got from them. There's nothing to see because I don't have anything done, but there are some of the pictures on the back. Did I say that was the first Belba Family one that I got that was square? Yeah. Olga Goldeshkina Halloween coloring book, Find the Skull. This book is so much fun. So in... All, every picture there are little skulls you can see it there's one some of them are really obvious there's one there's one and some of them like that's easy right um, and some of them you really got to hunt around like there's one so I thought it was cute the art is beautiful And it was unique, you know what I mean? Okay, there's a skull. So this is this book is so fun. Love, love, love it. And I am going to do a picture in that one. Okay, so much time. Coloring book Halloween. Who is that does this? Um, does it even say? I can't remember. I think I had to look it up before I did the flip through. I know I did a flip through on my channel of this book. And I honestly don't remember if it was Dylana Press or who it was that did this book. But this has some really cute images. Like I said, I know there's a flip through on my channel. And I know that I said who the publisher was. But they chose not to label themselves. So, um, <laughs> another very fun book that, um, like I said, I don't like coloring horror. But this was an exception. Christopher Mark Stokes. Infernal Darkness. 
This is a very fun book if you have never seen this before. And I got it mostly because it has a zombie gnome. But I like all the images in here. So if anybody else has this book and wants to do a buddy color at Halloween, let me know. Whimsical Halloween coloring book by Molly Harrison. I love Molly Harrison. Her art is adorable. I have not colored in this book. Um, Sweet Halloween. This is by Catherine Benante. She is the same one who did uh, Mika's Journey, which is the journey about the cat. I got this one because I wanted to see what one of her... She doesn't have very many books. I think she has like two. <laughs> but... Um, and it's another single-sided, double-page spread book, so it's fun. I like it. Cute images. I have We Wicked's. This is the only Carla Magana book I have. I intend to get Belle Pipistrel this Halloween, so because that's the other one that I want. But I love these. Um, did I color from? I'm sure I colored one. I had to have colored one. I was going to. I swear I did. Hang on. Did I not? Oh, come on. I'm starting to doubt my memory. That's so weird. I swear I colored a picture in there. Cute and Spooky Coloring Book by Jade Summer. I do not remember. Oh, obviously, I had pages marked to color for a scavenger hunt and did not do any of it. This book is so cute. I need to pull all those tabs out. So I have nice little town Halloween and yes I actually have a picture colored in here. These the nice little town Halloween is just cute. And there's the one that I did. Look at that folks. I did an acrylic background this ghosts and stuff. You know how proud I am of myself. <laughs> I started to color that. I need to finish it. 50 Halloween miniatures. I'm a little disappointed because this one is curling on me. I may have to get a new one. I don't know. But um, I think I started to do one. Did I do one? Oh yeah. Um, me and Kathy from Spicy Cat Colors um, did this as a buddy color for Halloween. I was playing around with stuff. Oh, look, my marker's yellowed. How fabulous. That's okay, it's a brown tree. Actually, that is my second copy because the first one, something was wrong with the pages and I had to get in a replacement copy. That one's curling. Nice Little Town Halloween in Witch Town. This was her newest one, and I didn't get to color in it last Halloween. But it is fabulous. Cute Witch's Grayscale Coloring Book by Jade Summer. This one is so adorable, too. I thought I colored a page in here, but I guess I didn't. I don't think I did. Nope. I was supposed to. What's wrong with me? Nope. Uh, Kawhi Horror, Jade Summer, Grayscale Coloring Book. Oh, it was this one. I did this one. That's what I'm remembering. I did it last Halloween. I don't remember if I did it or if it was a buddy color. I mean, obviously I did it. But, but it's a beautiful, beautiful book. It's like... I think this may be the only book I have that's kawaii or labeled kawaii, but there may be one other one somewhere. Um, Halloween Color by Number by Prachi Dewan Sachdeva. I have had this one for a long time. Um, let's see, that one. I watercolored the ghost with some shiny and it came out beautiful. This one is entirely watercolored, I think. No, the bottom is, the background is watercolored. And then I did this one. I was experimenting, trying to find things that were easier, didn't use markers as much. So that was watercolored. Did I do any more? Oh, I did this one, and that one, and that's all. 
stained glass Halloween color by number by Satch and Satch Diva. All right, let's Oh, crap. Um, I guess I need to put a piece of paper in there. Um, so this was, this was a buddy color with, I can't remember. Um, and I did, I put glazing liquid over the entire thing to make it look like stained glass. And it came out really pretty. Obviously I need to, to put something in there because that's going to stick. So, easy Halloween coloring book. Uh, this was a buddy color with Robin Kearley, Color Me Whimsy, last year. And I did this one. That was such a cute, fun picture to do. I love this um, coloring book. Obviously, I, I must like coloring Halloween. I've probably colored more of it than anything else. <laughs> Still going. Pastel Goth coloring book. Um, Sherman Design House. This one is different than a lot of people had, <laughs> but I like it better than than a lot of the other ones. So I was happy. It was a happy accident. So it was really cute. Halloween coloring book by Edwina McNamee. I think she came out with this one last year. I love her stuff. Like, it doesn't say what year it was printed, but I'm pretty sure it came out last year, mostly. Okay, Big Book of Halloween and Autumn coloring book. Technically, this could be on any shelf. Did I color a page in here? No, there's a reason that's marked. Um, these images are stunning. I actually have colored one of these pictures, but I have, um, I can show you really quick. Um, it's a PDF. Hang on, it's in here. You can see it. It's not, it's, I have did this one. I'm not sure if it's in this book or not, but I did that because um, I bought some of her fall, that may be part of her fall collection or whatever. I have some repeated images in her books, I'm sure. Um, this is um, Camellia Angel Covis, 50 Halloween Mandalas, which is super cute. What did I do in here? I started that one. I've been trying to finish this one for two years. And then I did that one with, um, obviously, some glaze pen and glitter gel pen. I love to do her mandalas with glitter gel pens. It's color by number mosaic, spooky Halloween. I have done a couple of these. This is by Prachi Dewan Sachdita. I did that one. And it looks like I started that one. I thought I did another one. Oh, I did. I did a bunch in the front. I must have... Decided to go in the back. I did that one, and this one, and that one, and that one, and that one. <laughs> uh, I don't know why I did started in the back and then decided to go in the front. Happy Halloween coloring book by Coloring Book Cafe. These images are adorable. Hey, I was looking for that. <laughs> Oh yeah, this was a pastel Halloween challenge last year, and that was fun. I love it. I did this one. Look at that. Maybe I found my calling. Maybe I just need to do a Halloween all the time. Um, this one is Color Questopia, black background. Happy Halloween. Oh, I did do this one. That one. And that one. I don't think I did any more. It's a super cute book. 50 Halloween Mandalas, color by number. This one may have been the one that made me unhappy with uh, the colors and the mandalas. Let's see, I know that I did one. Oh, this one. I think I did that one with um, Kathy from Spicy Cat Colors. 
in October, and I thought I had done, I think that's who I did it with. I should have done another one. Yep. This one, I know it was a buddy color too, and I can't remember who I did it with. But um, I obviously put some serious glitter on those skulls. I think that's Crayola glitter, actually. Almost to the bottom of the stack. Satch and Satch Diva's Halloween color by number. Had this one for a long time, too. He's watercolored. That one, you know, in the background is watercolored. That's all marker. That's all marker. Oh, look, I didn't finish him. I guess that's all. I thought I did. I thought there was another one back here, but... Um, that's a really, it's a really cute book, this one, too. Halloween Color by Number by Nikki Sharma. I did that one. I think that's the only one I've done. I just got this one last Halloween. Oh, <laughs> I wonder. Was this one a gift? Oh, this one was a gift, too. Um, that I was playing around. Oh, this is Halloween Horror. This is before they changed the cover. That's how old this one is. And I did this one. I don't know if I've done any more. Oh, I started doing this one in pencil. I need to finish it. Um, but it was looking good in pencil, wasn't it? I've tried a few different things with these. You'll see when I get into my color random books. Okay, um, so this one is Witch Fantasy by Color Christopia. Mm -hmm. I did this one. That one's done in pencil as well. Came out pretty good. Spooky Cute, another whimsical Halloween coloring book by Molly Harrison. So spooky, so cute. Okay, not really spooky, but... Halloween coloring book by Jade Summer. This is an oldie but a goodie. It has double images, so I haven't gotten to the images I've actually colored yet. Oh, there's one. I did that one. Gosh, probably like three years ago. I did that one. I did that one. I did that one. That one came out really cute. That was kind of a, I was testing different pencils, so it was like my tester page. Oh, three more? I think there's three more Halloween Spooks cross-stitch by Alice Mills Publishing. So, that's more cross-stitch. Fun, fun, fun. Running out of room, my stock will have an avalanche. Uh, Little Witches, co large print color by number by Sun Life Drawing. This one was a test, one of their sample pages in the back. I was watercoloring to see how it did and I didn't like it. So it doesn't count that I stopped it. I think I've done a number in here because I was just going to town on this. Okay, so there and there. And this one. Boy, that's a red squirrel. Oof, I gotta do something about that next time. And then that one. It's a very simple color pad. It's like 12 colors. So it's cute. And then last but not least, Lines, Spots, and Dots Halloween by Color Relaxation, Kira Shershneva. I have done a number of these. I did, well, I need to finish this one. And I have to decide, well, this one was very hard to do in different colors because I couldn't quite clearly see where everything ended, so that's kind of why it's not done. <laughs> I was getting there. Uh, this one, I was really happy with how that one came out. And then there's a bat. And then pumpkins. And then I love this one too. I really thought that I wouldn't like doing these, but I love doing them. They're fun. And that is all. Oh my gosh. All right. That's all of Christmas and Halloween. So 
next will be, we'll see. I'm trying to decide. Well, I'll do two shelves and then I'll probably do three shelves together. So I think I got one more, uh, two, at least three more parts. So, and this is part five. Thank you for watching. Thank you for coming back. I know y'all seem to be enjoying seeing some of the books that I have. And I will keep posting till I'm done. The last video might be a long one because it'll be all of my color by numbers that aren't in with everything else. So, I appreciate you hanging in there. Have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Bye!